Good morning, yogis. So here's what you might imagine. You're in your bed, you're cosy, you've got your pyjamas on, and the alarm goes off. I'm just gonna gonna act this out now. (laughs) So I'm lying here, I'm relaxed and restful, I'm snoozing in my bed. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh, and the alarm goes off and it wakes me up and I think, oh, I wanna stay in bed, I don't wanna practice yoga, I wanna stay here cosy. But here's how you can do both. So perhaps we just start by stretching out the toes and feet and just giving them a wiggle. You can keep the eyes closed here if you're still feeling very sleepy. Just give the limbs a little bit of a wibble and a wobble. Start by just sending a little bit of prana, a little bit of energy through the limbs of the body. That's all we need to start with. And maybe we interlink the hands behind the head and reach up as if we're stretching long and tall. Big, long cat stretch through the body. And again, keep those eyes closed if you like as we draw the knees into the chest, give them a big hug and just do a little rock from side to side. And we'll just grasp hold of the right knee and straighten the left leg along the bed. So we're just hugging the right knee into the chest and maybe we're taking a few circles with the foot one way and the other way. And then taking hold of the right knee with the right hand, we'll just open that hip out to the side. Just taking a little open for the hip, just as far as is comfortable. Maybe it's just an inch or two, maybe we're taking it all the way over. And as we bring the knee back into the centre, we'll cross it over the body hip lifting off the ground as we take a twist for the lower spine. A little stretch out for the lumbar spine. As we take the hands behind the thigh, we'll straighten the leg as if we're taking our foot to the ceiling, allowing the shoulders and head to be heavy here. As always, taking the stretches slow and gentle. It's still early morning. Let's hug the knee to the chest and we'll swap over the knee. So we'll hug left knee into chest, maybe take a little circle with the feet just to wake up the ankles. And then taking hold of the left knee with left hand, we'll open the hip out to the side. So that right hand's just falling beside us. And then we'll cross the knee over the body that left hip lifts off the ground and maybe we take the gaze to the left as well stretching and twisting the lumbar spine we'll come back to center we take hold behind the left thigh as if we're going to stand on the ceiling maybe take a little wiggle with the toes if we like And to finish, we'll just draw both knees back to the chest and we'll come into happy baby, taking hold of the outside of the feet. And we can have a little rock from side to side if we like, or we can just hang out in stillness. And as we hold on to the feet, we'll use the feet to propel us upwards to a little easy seat, or you can just make your own way up to easy seat. You can move slowly as you like. Maybe we just drop the head in some little mini shoulder rolls, some little rolls for the neck, just one side and the other along the back of the body. And as we come to our right hand side we'll just take the hand to rest on the left side of the head and then a few rolls at the front of the body, rolling the chin along the collarbones. And we'll just use the left hand to gently rest on the right side of the head. Just get a little extra stretch in the neck. Again, very gentle, very slow. A few rolls with the shoulders, up and down. And from here we'll take a lovely twist for the spine. Using that left hand on the outside of the right knee to help turn the body, to rotate the heart, shoulders and gaze. And you can wrap the hand around the back of the body, just help us with this lovely spiral. And we'll take it to the other side. So see here again, we've got right hand on outside of left knee. And then the left hand can just wrap behind me if I like, or I can just use it to support me behind the spine. Let's raise the arms up to the sky. We'll hinge forward into our lovely forward fold. It's a great place to do it on the bed because it's much softer on ankles and feet. If you're doing this on a hard surface, it might feel a bit pressure here, but 
on a soft surface we can just allow ourselves to relax a few slow and steady breaths thinking of the lower back and the hips and the glutes stretching with our slow breath gently raise up the body and from here what we're going to do is roll over the knees onto our all fours <laughs> just excuse me here while I tuck in my pajama top so from our all fours we can do our little flexion of the spine our cat cow movement so on the inhale we're flexing the spine in and on the out breath we're flexing the spine out and you can move at exactly the pace of your own breath and maybe we move into those barrel rolls as we roll the spine as if we've got a hula hoop around our tummy. And we're just looping it around slowly one way and then the other. And then as we come back to our all fours, we're going to lift our hips and move into a downward facing dog. Then we take a little pedal out here, just if it's comfortable, just if we're able to on our beds. A little open for the lower back. As we just gently drop the knees down, we'll move into our child's pose. Slow and steady breaths. As we rise up onto our forearms and stretch the body away, Gently lift up through the spine, through the heart and gaze for a little sphinx pose. Think about really lengthening the spine. And from here, we're just going to drop the head and we're going to grasp our right foot as we come into a little quad stretch. So a large part of the body is relaxed here. The shoulders, the head, the torso, the heart and hips released into the earth. So we're just grasping the foot with our hand, taking that stretch in the quad muscles. Allowing the head to rest on the hand, so the head's relaxed. Beautiful. So from here we'll put hands under shoulders. And from our all fours, we're going to straighten right leg and left arm away. So we're making a lovely straight line through from the heel of our foot all the way through the spine and to our fingertips. And we'll swap it over, take it to the other side. I like to call this one monkey stretch because it's a bit like we're reaching over <clears throat> from one tree to another, like a little monkey. And then from here, we lift the left arm and the left hip for a little side stretch, straightening out right leg and right arm to the sky, side stretch. Beautiful. And coming to a thunderbolt for a moment, we'll grasp the hands behind the back. Maybe we'll take a little wibble if we want to, just if it's comfortable, as we open heart and chest. And as we release the hands, we can get ready now to move into a little seated meditation. So I'm going to give us about four minutes where I'm just going to be quiet just to allow us to either just come to our morning meditation if we want to take a few minutes just in quiet meditation you're also very welcome to use this time to journal write in your notebook any lists or goals you have for today so just use this four minutes as time to prepare for your day in whatever way is most beneficial for you be it meditation or writing things down
So as we get ready to leave our meditation phase and think about drawing in energy and light to energize us through our day, we'll bring our palms together and rub them together, creating as much fire and heat between the palms as we can. And then placing these beautiful warm hands over the eye, taking a lovely inhale, opening the eyes and exhale. We'll let the hands fall as we say good morning to our day. Namaste, yogis.